the search for a woman who disappeared more than 20 years ago led police to a central Kentucky home today. We have recovered some evidence. Tonight, new developments in the case. After days of talk, state lawmakers still don't have an agreement on a state budget. So what's next? Police go undercover to catch a Kentucky man, they say, tried to pay someone to kill a man. This is WKYT News at 11. Good evening to you. It looks like another chilly morning could be ahead before we see a warm up during the day. But we're also tracking more changes later in this week. We begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey and your no wait weather forecast. Guys, we're coming off a very nice weather day overall across the bluegrass state. A day that featured temperatures a little cooler than normal, and late evening thermometers, as expected, have dropped into the low and mid 40s into much of central Kentucky. Out and about tomorrow, 37 first thing out the door in the morning, 63 for your lunchtime hour. By the time we hit to the afternoon, temperatures are right around 70 degrees, mostly sunny skies. It is a clean Defender radar network. Not a whole lot out there. Some high clouds are off to our west. That's ahead of a big storm system that will roll across the plain states, Mississippi Valley, and head toward the Great Lakes. Cold front that is out across the Rockies now by Thursday is right on top of central and eastern Kentucky. So we get the warm air out ahead of that, and that front is also going to bring an increase in showers and thunderstorms, but again, not until we get into Thursday. Coming up at 1113, I've got an hour by hour forecast that is brand new that will time the thunderstorms into town and show you how that whole mess, guys, will lead to a colder brand of air, unfortunately, as we go into the first week of April. We'll see you back here at 1113. She's been missing for more than 20 years, and the case went cold. But tonight, there are some new developments in the search for a missing Boyle County woman. Annalee Manning hasn't been seen since November of 1992. Today, the Boyle County Sheriff's Office and the FBI spent hours searching a home near the Boyle Lincoln County line. Investigators say it's connected to the case. Tonight, Monique Blair talked to the sheriff. It's our top story at 11. Well, I never saw nothing like this before in my life. Tommy Snow watched Tuesday as his next door neighbors of more than 30 years home was engulfed with several different law enforcement agencies. I looked out the window and I saw all these cops draw their guns. And Boyle County Sheriff Marty Elliott says the cold case was reopened in February after evidence was found concerning Anna Manning, and that evidence led them to this residence, which belongs to the father of Anna Manning's estranged husband. Canines assisted in the search as well as the FBI because of their forensic ability. They have helped us unearth some areas that we uh, had learned or had determined that uh, Miss Manning could possibly be. Now, after spending most of the day Tuesday digging up this property, Boyle County Sheriff Marty Elliott told me they did find some evidence. We have recovered some evidence. Um, the FBI has some of that. And as you can see, we've recovered several guns that we have to work with to find if it is stolen. No arrests have been made, but Sheriff Elliott says the case is still very active, but he hopes to put a close to it soon. Closure to the family, um, you know, she just vanished and try to bring closure because, you know, a lot of people are angry over this. In Lincoln County, Monique Blair, WKYT. Anna Manning was last seen in front of a jewelry store in Danville. Neighbors say her estranged husband once lived in the home where investigators searched today. Now to a developing story that we're tracking out of Owsley County tonight. State police say one person was seriously injured after being hit by a car. It happened about an hour ago. Police have not told us which road that crash happened on. They're still trying to figure out what led up to it. And also developing tonight, firefighters are on the scene of a fire at Jenny Wiley State Resort Park in Floyd County. The fire was reported in the dining area of the May Lodge a few hours ago. We don't know how much damage the fire has caused, but firefighters are still on the scene. Tonight, Kentucky lawmakers in the House and the Senate still have not reached an agreement on a state budget. Members of the budget conference met all day and then broke off talks until tomorrow. But as Victor Puente tells us tonight, leaders of both chambers are confident there will be an agreement soon. When the Senate and House adjourned this evening, they did so without a budget in place. With only two legislative days left, they don't have a lot of time to pass one. I still feel like there's a good chance we can come up with a compromise. 
but a compromise by its very definition requires that each side give a little. The Senate and House have each passed their own versions of a two-year budget for the state of Kentucky. The Republican-led Senate wants to keep Governor Matt Bevin's proposed budget cuts, which include cuts to higher education. That money would be used to help fund the state's pension systems. The democratically controlled House has said they would support funding the pensions, but will not allow the proposed cuts for education. Bevin maintains the cuts are necessary because the state has billions in pension debt. When the last day of this session takes place will depend on if an agreement can be reached in the next two days. But if we don't have a budget resolution by noon, approximately Thursday, because it takes 30 hours to generate a document, uh, the schedule will remain as is. Which would put the end of the session at April 12th. But if an agreement is reached, that last day would move to April 15th to give both branches time to still have the ability to override any vetoes should Governor Bevan use one. If it doesn't work, it won't be because we didn't try. In Frankfurt, Victor Puente, WKYT. And if a budget is not passed, the governor will have to call a special session to pass one before July 1st. New tonight, the state Senate passed a bill that would allow some nonviolent felons to have their criminal records erased. The bill would not apply to anyone convicted of a violent crime or a sex offense. A prior version of the bill passed the House, but the Senate's version would make offenders wait five years before they could have records erased. The Senate's version now goes to the House. Police still haven't been able to find an inmate they say escaped from a transport van in Clay County. Police say Ronald Gray and Ledford Hamilton jumped out of the van yesterday while being taken from the Knox County Jail to the Leslie County Jail. They say the inmates reached out through an open window and unlocked the van from the outside. Police quickly arrested Ledford. Obviously, they're not familiar with the area, uh, so he wasn't. He didn't run that far. He just basically ran. A couple hundred yards and was, was hiding behind uh, some buildings and things of that nature. Police say Gray wasn't around when they arrested Hamilton. Gray faces robbery, assault, and drug charges from a home invasion in January. The Leslie County Jailer says both deputies in the transport van were fired because he says they did not meet his standards and expectations. Family members say it could be next week before the remains of a Lexington native killed in the Brussels attacks can return home. Stephanie Schultz and her husband Justin died at the Brussels airport. Her aunt says additional forensics are being done on the remains. She says her family will not be having a funeral for her until her body is back in the United States. The family members also say Stephanie's mother, Carolyn, who was with the couple at the airport at the time of the terrorist attacks, has returned home to Lexington. New tonight, a Kentucky man has been arrested after police say he tried to hire an undercover police officer to kill someone. State police charge 49-year-old Kevin Gentry with solicitation of murder. Police say after receiving a tip, they set up a meeting with Gentry outside a store in Barron County. They say Gentry gave an undercover officer a name, photo, and address of a man he wanted dead, along with $2,500. Police arrested Gentry a short time later. He owns a business in Metcalf County. People nearby say these charges are out of character. It does surprise me. I mean, I've known him what, about 15 years or longer. And I just didn't think a guy would do something like this. Relatives say Gentry has also faced gun and stolen property charges in recent weeks. He's now in jail on a $100,000 bond. New tonight, the state's Energy and Environment Cabinet has created a work group to make sure that lead stays out of Kentucky's drinking water. Cabinet leaders say the work group is made up of 13 experts in water infrastructure. And the group will look over existing protocols, lead and copper rules, service line replacement programs, and compliance monitoring. The group will present recommendations to the state's division of water. Today, a national summit kicked off in Atlanta designed to address the drug abuse problem across the country. This is the fifth year for the National Prescription Drug Abuse and Heroin Summit. President Obama joined other lawmakers from Kentucky and around the country. The president praised the efforts of Operation Unite to stop drug abuse in southern and eastern Kentucky. And his administration announced new initiatives, including more money for anti-heroin task force programs. So we're taking a number of steps. But frankly, we're still under-resourced. I think the public doesn't fully appreciate yet the scope of the problem. WKYT investigative reporter Miranda Combs is in Atlanta covering the summit for us. Tomorrow, she'll be talking to Congressman Hal Rogers about his holistic approach to ending drug abuse in Kentucky. 
Donald Trump's campaign manager now faces a misdemeanor charge for something police say happened with a reporter at a news conference. What Trump says about it in nine minutes. And then a former Eastern Kentucky lawyer now admits she stole thousands of dollars from her clients. Why police say she did it. Coal in Kentucky has been hit hard. We've exported coal for a long time, forever. For an so now what we're going to do is export coal. See how one Kentucky company is switching from coal to coating. Thursday at 6 on WKYT. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news. Weather to plan your day. Plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 430 to 7 on WKYT. The all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is changing the automotive industry in Central Kentucky forever. Introducing lifetime warranty. It doesn't end after 10 years. It doesn't end after 100,000 miles. And is available at no extra cost. 100% parts. 100% labor. Zero deductible forever. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Shop the area's largest selection of quality vehicles, all with a lifetime powertrain warranty. Only at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. You may be entitled to $1,500 for each call you've received from any company collecting a debt. Seems too good to be true, but it's the law. Hi, checking out the RAV4? Yep, looking for something fun. Well, with available Sport Tune suspension, you can turn any trip into an awesome adventure. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Aaron! Aren't they the best? It's the final days of Toyota's One for Everyone sales event. Get 0.9% financing on the adventurous 2016 RAV4. Or lease one now for just $199 a month. Have fun running those errands. Toyota, let's go places. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Hi, Shane Huffman with Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt, where today you can lease a brand new 2016 Honda CRV for just $2.59 a month. Plus, we're going to back all our deals with our 110% price protection guarantee. That's Neil Huffman Honda in Frankfurt. Huffman has it. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 1045 The Cat. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Just a little on the chilly side today, but overall, we've got a milder pattern that is taking shape for a couple of days, but overall, it's a very active pattern across North America. Let's start things out on the broad view to kind of set the stage on what is to come over the next few days. Chilly weather on top of Kentucky now. Big storm across the Plain States, though. Cold air behind it, warm air out ahead of it. We're going to get both of those as we go into the next several days. First things first, that will be the winds shifting direction and coming at us from the west and the southwest. That'll be a warmer wind that blows into the day tomorrow. Nothing really warm about the winds right now. Temperatures into the mid-40s into most of central and eastern Kentucky, a couple of upper 40s into the southeastern corner of the state. We may flirt at times tonight with some upper 30s first thing tomorrow morning. Here's what we're tracking. A strong cold front ahead that arrives on Thursday with the possibility of some big thunderstorms. Then we've got an early chill or a little chill in the air coming up for April. That is a system that by the time we roll into uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, a couple of mornings can give us a strong northwesterly flow that may drop temperatures into the 20s on a couple of mornings. Tomorrow, upper 30s to start things out. We go into the afternoon. We're right around 70, if not a degree or two better, with a partly sunny sky. Defender Radar Network, forget about it. Nothing showing up locally. Let's hit the fast forward button. Take you to 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Throw the temperatures into the mix as well. Upper 30s to low 40s. Valleys are going to be a lot colder than the cities. Tomorrow at noon, 65 degrees. Maybe, just maybe lunch outside tomorrow. How about 70, 71 tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock? Notice some high clouds streaming on in from west to east. That's a trend that carries us into tomorrow night. And by the time you wake up on Thursday morning, there's the chance for some showers and thunderstorms to begin the day. Then look what happens at noon. Skies begin to clear. Boy, I'll tell you, if we can get into the upper 70s on Thursday, look out. With a cold front to our west, that could be a nice little line of some strong thunderstorms racing across the region as we go into Thursday evening. So the potential is there if temperatures do hit the mid and upper 70s for some stronger severe thunderstorms coming at us in a couple of waves 
late Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. By 11 o'clock Thursday evening, here's the actual cold front zipping its way to our south and southeast. Colder air behind that will take us below normal for a high as we go into our Friday with temperatures that will mainly be into the 50s into most of central and eastern Kentucky. Again, that is a colder look coming after we get in on some showers and thunderstorms. Models late tonight through Friday picking up on a general one to maybe two inch rainfall into much of central and eastern Kentucky, courtesy of those showers and thunderstorms that come at us in waves Thursday into Thursday night. That extended forecast, chilly weather on Friday, another system drops in on Saturday. By the time we hit Sunday, the pit, uh, potential is there for temperatures to drop into the 20s into much of central and eastern Kentucky. That would be readings that are down into the mid and upper 20s into most of the area. After that, it's a roller coaster ride into much of next week. Moral of the story, you want to enjoy the day tomorrow. Oh, we hear you. Yeah, we got some big thunderstorms, I think, mm -hmm. coming into the day on Thursday. All right, thanks, Chris. You bet. The effort to rebuild a historic Kentucky store destroyed by fire has now received a lot of support. That's in seven minutes. Out of respect for your time and for your convenience, at Gates Hyundai, we've clearly marked the selling price on every new Hyundai in stock. At Gates Hyundai in Richmond, you don't need to negotiate. Come in, pick out a car, you can be out in no time at all. With a heavy-duty welded steel deck and patented smooth track steering, the Hustler Raptor Zero Turn Mower doesn't play around. It's got the power to turn your weekend to-do list into your weekend to-done list. The legendary Hustler Raptor family starting at just $27.99. Tools, not toys. Get your Hustler mower at Pat's Garden Center in Stanford and Big M Discount in Whitley City. What's the most awarded car company of the year? Ranking from top to bottom. Luxury cars seem like they would be top awarded. Better be some <laughs> awards behind what you're paying for, right? The final answer? Uh oh. Oh. Chevy, the most awarded car company two years in a row. Wow, it's like a luxury car. I was shocked. I mean, it's like, this is Chevy? Current qualified GM lessees can get a sign and drive lease on this Chevy Cruze Limited for around $179 per month. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. There are two camps of DQ S'mores Blizzard lovers. Camp S'mores and the new Camp Oreo S'mores. Camp S'mores. Camp Oreo S'mores. Camp S'mores. Camp Oreo S'mores. Camp S'mores. Camp Oreo S'mores. A camp for the traditionalist and a camp for the adventurous. Which s'mores camp will you be in? Try the s'mores and new Oreo S'mores Blizzard Treat today. This is fan food, not fast food. Choosing a college is about setting a course, a path that leads to your destination. At EKU, the adventure is what lies in between. Eastern Kentucky University. Great journeys begin here. Out of respect for your time and for your convenience, at Gates Hyundai, we've clearly marked the selling price on every new Hyundai in stock. At Gates Hyundai in Richmond, you don't need to negotiate. Come in, pick out a car, you can be out in no time at all. Tonight, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump says he is standing by his campaign manager, who now faces a misdemeanor battery charge in Florida. Police say the campaign manager grabbed a reporter's arm earlier this month. Craig Boswell has the latest from the campaign trail. Surveillance video shows former Breitbart reporter Michelle Fields attempting to question Donald Trump after a March 8th news conference in Florida. Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski appears to reach in and pull Fields away. She later tweeted a photo of bruises on her arm and accused Lewandowski of manhandling her. Trump insists the surveillance tape proves Lewandowski is innocent and was just doing his job. If you look at her, my book and according to a lot of people she's grabbing at me and he's acting as an intermediary and trying to block her from doing that. Trump says Lewandowski is being unfairly maligned. The easiest thing, Corey, you're fired. I can't do that. Can't do it. But Trump's rivals say that's exactly what the GOP frontrunner should do. Physically assaulting a reporter is a fireable offense. If I was in this circumstance, 
I would take I would take some sort of action, either suspension or firing. Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton agrees. You know, ultimately the responsibility uh, is Mr. Trump's. Lewandowski is due in court May 4th. Trump says he's advised him to fight the battery charge. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Washington. And Donald Trump says his people turned over the surveillance video after the news conference at a Trump-owned golf club in Florida earlier this month. New tonight, a former attorney in Pike County now admits she stole thousands of dollars from her clients. 41-year-old Melanie Ratliff pled guilty to theft charges. She had a law practice in Pikeville for more than 10 years and was also a master commissioner. But police say along with taking money from her clients, Ratliff also kept money from settlements. We obtained her banking records, and it showed that over a period of almost a year, she was withdrawing five and six thousand dollars per week from her clients' accounts. Prosecutors say Ratliff used the money to feed her drug addiction. She has since lost her law license. Prosecutors recommended she serve three years in prison. Tonight, the emergency management director of a Floyd County city faces drug charges. State police say Christopher Rudder was in a car matching the description of one seen during a drug buy. They say Rudder admitted taking another man somewhere and knew that man bought drugs. Police say they also found a prescription pill in the car. Rudder is the emergency management director for the city of Martin. Last fall, he pled guilty in a DUI case. There is no word if the city will take any actions against him. New tonight, we have learned a benefit raised thousands of dollars to help rebuild a historic Kentucky store. The fire destroyed the Rabbit Hash General Store in Boone County last month. The store had been open since the 1830s. Over the weekend, the Rabbit Hash Bash raised money for the Rabbit Hash Historical Society to rebuild the store. And today, organizers presented the society with a check of more than 11 thousand dollars. A much beloved place that people have a uh, real connection with. Yeah, and people just jumped on board yeah. to help. Well, some breaking news tonight in sports. Well, that's right. A former Wildcat who lost his coaching job now has a new one. And at the McDonald's All-America game, Marcus Bolden still deciding out of college. There are four future Wildcats there to tell him where to go. Sports is next. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. At Gates Nissan in Richmond, we've got a huge selection of new Frontier trucks. Own a 16 Frontier 4x4 Extended Cab V6 for only $27,990. At Gates Nissan in Richmond, we sell new Nissans for less because we can. So, you've got these projects on your list. You've been wanting to update your kitchen, organize your closets, and build the backyard oasis of your dreams. But where do you start? Well, projects solved. The Central Kentucky Home and Garden Show is here. Need a reliable contractor? You'll find them at the show. Need a landscaping pro? They're here too. Bring photos of your projects and meet with the experts. Then compare and save with exclusive show-only deals. There's only one place to find it all this weekend at the Lexington Center. At Gates Nissan in Richmond, we've got a huge selection of new Frontier trucks. Own a 16 Frontier 4x4 Extended Cab V6 for only $27,990. At Gates Nissan in Richmond, we sell new Nissans for less because we can. Wednesday's Powerball jackpot is $116 million. Hi, I need a safe car. The Camry's really safe. Ten airbags, even has a backup camera. Wow, that could come in handy. Bye. Dad! Gotta keep my little girl safe. Don't worry, he'll only be like this for another 10 or 15 years. At least. During the final days of the One for Everyone event, Toyota just announced 0.9 financing for 72 months on Camry plus $500 bonus cash or a $179 a month lease. Here you go. Toyota, let's go places. Bike won't start? Scoot on in to Batteries Plus Bulbs and save $10 on Duracell Ultra AGM motorcycle batteries. Batteries Plus Bulbs. Trust the plus. This is once. 
the Tony Award-winning musical about following your heart and your dreams. You cannot miss once. For five performances, April 22nd through 24th at the Lexington Opera House. The AFP has had its eye on her for quite some time. We were just waiting for the right moment to move in. The vibe was anything but playful. Go, go, okay. We knew we had to move in fast, but there was a crowd, so we had to play it cool. This is where the years of training paid off. We got the scratch-off ticket to her in the nick of time. We're agents to play, man. People think this job is all fun and games, but we take our fun seriously. That's what being an agent of play is all about. Thank you. Just doing our job. Put a little play in your day with scratch-offs from the Kentucky Lottery. Fueling imagination, funding education. I'm Ian. I'm Christina. Enjoy, Enjoy our, our show. show. See more of our show and start enjoying yours at visitmo.com. Tomorrow night, it's the McDonald's All-America game in Chicago, and Kentucky has four players playing, and they are making a sales pitch to one of the other top players in the country. Lee K. Howard reports from Chicago. Hello and welcome to Chicago, where Kentucky already has four McDonald's All-Americans playing this week in the 39th annual McDonald's All-American game. But those four hope to make that number grow to five before they leave the Windy City. Marquise Bolden is the highest rated player still uncommitted in the 2016 class, and he's got his school choices down to Kentucky, Duke, and TCU. For the last few days, Bolden has heard the sales pitches from the UK commits. It's not even this week. I, I stay on them. I mean, me and, me and Marquise, we talk almost daily. You know, I mean, it's not always about basketball or recruiting. I mean, we're just, I mean, we're friends. So, but sometimes I'm, I'll just sneak it in there. But this, this week has been, I've been telling him, I've been telling him, I've been in his ear all week. Bolden says potentially joining this UK class could be great. Uh, Fox and Malik, they could both run the one, two, and then playing with uh, Sasha and Bam in the front court. I mean, that, that's a. That's a big time help. I mean, with their aggressiveness for both of them players, I just like how versatile and how aggressive they are. Now, Bolden told me that he plans to make his decision before his birthday on April the 17th. Here at the United Center in Chicago, Lee K. Howard, WKYT. Thank you, Lee K. Tyler Ulis is a consensus All American. He was named today to the Associated Press first team. The 5'9 Ulis is the shortest All American since 5'9 Johnny O'Brien of Seattle in 1953. Ulis joined on the first team by Buddy Heald, Denzel Valentine, Bryce Johnson, and Malcolm Brogdon. UK's Jamal Murray named third team All American by AP. Travis Ford was out 10 days ago at Oklahoma State. Tonight he is the new coach at St. Louis. The school was considering Kevin Stallings, who ended up going to Pitt. Ford spent eight years at Oklahoma State, going 155 and 111. The Cowboys were 12 and 20 this past season. Quarterback Drew Barker will be a redshirt sophomore in the fall, and it may seem like the starting quarterback job is his to lose. Well, the position is open, but Barker is the only quarterback Mark Stoops has with game experience at Kentucky. He's now in his third year in the program, and Stoops really likes the way he's maturing. He's always been a guy that, uh, you know, he's competitive and he, he likes to play, but, uh, you know, the, the off days. I'm seeing a guy that's studying film more, uh, that, that's uh, more serious about his business, and uh, and that's showing up on the field. He's, he's much more consistent. I'm just going out every day, um, you know, like I'm the starter. I'm pretty sure everybody else is. I mean, that's what you have to do. Last year, um, when I was second string, I was practicing every day like I was a starter. So that's just something you have to do if you're the ones, twos, or threes. So I've just been treating it every day like I'm the starter. Kentucky and Northern Kentucky tonight at Cliff Hagen Stadium. Up one to nothing in the second. Riley Mahan with a line drive into center. Left center, that scored Dorian Hairston, who drove in the first run, and it was 2 0. Moving out of the fourth, tied at two. Luke Becker sending a no doubter to right center. His first career homer, and Kentucky retakes the lead. But the Norse would come alive in the sixth. Quint Hetty, the brother of UK shortstop Connor Hetty, going into the gap, a three-run sixth inning for Northern, and Northern stuns the 12th-ranked Wildcats tonight, 5-4. to four. UK softball on the road up in Athens, Ohio. The Wildcats suffering their first road loss of the year, one to nothing in game one, but the Cats bounce back in the second game. Abby Cheek, a three-run homer, and Kentucky wins it 3-1. to one. 
And in Columbus, Ohio tonight, the United States men's team needed a win over Guatemala to have a chance to make the World Cup in 2018. Clint Dempsey scored just 12 minutes in. Jeff Cameron added a second goal in the 35th minute, and the United States was on its way. A loss tonight would have made it virtually impossible for the Americans to advance to the Six Nation Finals of North and Central America and the Caribbean. The loss didn't happen. The final was 4 0. Stay with us. Matt Jones on Marquise Bolden is next. Toyota's One for Everyone sales event is on now with great deals on your favorite Toyotas. But hurry, this event ends April 4th. Now get 0.9 financing for 72 months on Camry and Corolla plus $500 bonus cash. Toyota, let's go places. At Hairwin, we've been helping people for 125 years. If you've been injured in a life-changing accident, we can help. Contact us at HelpingKentucky.com. Hairwin. Visit HelpingKentucky.com. Toyota South isn't the number one or number two volume Toyota store in the area. I'd like to be. But my dad told me a long time ago, it's not the number of cars you sell, it's the number of satisfied customers you have that makes a difference. We're not in the big city, which means we just have to work harder, we have to keep our overhead low, so we continue to sell new Toyotas for less. Choose Toyota South on the bypass in Richmond. It's early, and you need a breakfast built for work days, not weekdays. Say good morning to the three buck breakfast with the chicken and gravy breakfast burrito from your DQ. Our famous chicken strip plus eggs, cheese, and pepper gravy wrapped up in a warm flour tortilla. Served with crispy hash browns and coffee, all for just three bucks. Now this is a breakfast built for work days. The chicken and gravy breakfast burrito, just one of our delicious three buck breakfasts, only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. The all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is changing the automotive industry in Central Kentucky forever. Introducing lifetime warranty. It doesn't end after 10 years. It doesn't end after 100,000 miles. And it's available at no extra cost. 100% parts. 100% labor. Zero deductible forever. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Shop the area's largest selection of quality vehicles, all with a lifetime powertrain warranty. Only at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Kentucky Lottery is Keno, the exciting way to have fun with your friends every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. What truck company do you think offers best-in-class V8 fuel economy, best-in-class V8 horsepower, and best-in-class V8 towing? Chevy. I'm going with Ram. Definitely Ford. The new 2016 Chevy Silverado offers best-in-class V8 fuel economy, horsepower, and towing. They're all Chevy. It's Truck Month. Get a total value of $7,500 on this Silverado All-Star with a 5.3 liter V8. Plus, find your tag and get 1,000 cash allowance on select Silverado models in stock. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. You may be entitled to $1,500 for each call you've received from any company collecting a debt. Seems too good to be true, but it's the law. Toyota's One for Everyone sales event is on now with great deals on your favorite Toyotas. But hurry, this event ends April 4th. Lease the first ever Toyota RAV4 Hybrid now for just $249 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. With the season over for Kentucky, thoughts now go to recruiting and the McDonald's All-American game is tomorrow night. Now, Kentucky has four players up there, Malik Monk, De'Aaron Fox, Bam Adebayo, and Sasha Kalea Jones. But all eyes are on Marcus Bolden. The number one center in America is going to be deciding in the next couple weeks between Kentucky and Duke. Now, early on, it looked like it was going to be Kentucky. As a matter of fact, I think he would have decided in the fall to go to Kentucky had he made a commitment. But he kept waiting and waiting, and now we're starting to hear that his family leans towards Duke. Evan Daniels of Scout.com came out today and said he thinks it's 50-50 and the kid changes his mind every day. Now here's the good part for Kentucky. Those players that are at the McDonald's All-American game, they're trying to get the kid to go to Kentucky, and they're saying it to him all the time. But he will soon go home and make his decision with his family. Normally in these things, I always say the same thing, the family wins. But in this case, it might be different. Marcus Bolden has said he'd like to play on a team with great players. Kentucky's going to have amazing ones. And while Dukes are good too, he has a chance to make the class special. 
I hope he picks UK, but we'll know in the next couple of weeks. I'm Matt Jones, and this has been Overtime. All right, if you have been wanting some 70 degree temperatures, we might have them tomorrow. We got it for you. If you want something else in that seven day forecast, chances are you'll find it too. Uh, 70 tomorrow, 70s on Thursday. Keep an eye out Thursday afternoon and evening. Could be some big time thunderstorms around here, introducing a colder pattern, wouldn't you know it, into early April. All right, thanks for staying up late. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.